What's up, YouTube? Dub K Dad Team DKF. Uh, it's been a while since I put up a video, but tonight I'm going to upload a couple deck list videos. Right here, I got my frogs, and um, I'm going to show you my Quacky Mirror deck. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, after the video, check out my blog and uh, check out my eBay. I have some X Sabres, some Morphotronic deck. And a few other things listed up there. Um, also, on my blog, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts about this past uh, uh, YCS event. My thoughts about the prize cards and other things going on right now. Those will be going up this week. Um, also, remember that we're doing the uh, we're going to be ordering the uh, product for our case bus. Uh, we're a week late. The deadline was uh, last Tuesday, but we had several people who wanted to get in. So um, thanks to them, we're going to be giving away um, quite a bit of stuff for our raffle. So you guys should be looking forward to that. And so I uh, apologize all those guys are waiting, but I um, promise we're going to make it big. It's going to be a really good time. Um, also, I'd like to thank the guys who um, who have been waiting for uh, trades for me. Uh, trade me cards 50 uh, YGO trades and a few other guys who uh, wait an extended period of time for me to get their trades out to them uh, I got a lot of things going working overtime at work and stuff trying to get some things settled here with the new baby and um, those kind of things so yeah so I just thank you for their patience or thank them for their patience all right enough chit chat let's get on to the deck um, I was calling the deck Synthesized Requiem, uh, just because the Quacky Mirror is supposed to be some kind of synthetic created beast, monsters, rocks, dragons, whatever. And um, so that's how I came up with the name. So let's go over the deck list. We got two Maximus, two Rook Lord, three Urnite, one Sandman, uh, three Guardian, two Prototype, two Crusader. One, two Berserk, and two Boulder. Onto the spells, three Iron Core, two Transport Unit, uh, three Core Overclock, amazing. Two Iron Core Specimen Lab, MST Heavy, and the Traps, Dust Tornado, two Bottomless, Solemn Judgment, Call the Haunted, uh, Negaton Core Panel, Mirror Force, Torrential, and Starlight Road. Uh, so, let me tell you about some of the things I like about the deck, some of the combos involved. <clears throat> uh, basically, we're going to be running three uh, Iron Core of Quacky Mirror because the deck pretty much revolves around that card. And with that card, it allows you to get his effect off, allows you to special summon him. And once he's been summoned correctly, Maximus has been summoned correctly, he can be revived through Call of the Haunted. <clears throat> uh, he's basically Celestia when you tribute a Quacky Mirror. That's another reason why we run Call of the Haunted. Um, with Prototype, you can spam tokens uh, with the Iron Core Specimen Lab. So let's say you have Prototype and let's say Guardian on the field or whoever on the field and they die in the end phase. With Iron Core Specimen Lab on the field, uh, you'll produce a token, and then you can search your deck for any Quacky Mirror. So I would search Rook Lord, tribute the token off, put in some damage. Um, other cool thing is transport unit is important for getting cores to your hands as soon as po quick as possible. Uh, overclock. This pretty much this deck is pretty much built as Urnite Rush. And with overclocks, you know, these the, the effects stack. So with three active, you have a base 1500 boost. If you ditch one core for the effect, you have a 1500 boost just out of one card, then an additional 1000, uh, so on and so on. So if you're really sacky and you manage to ditch three of these to mate with three of those, that's a 4500 boost on one monster, or, or every Quacky Mirror monster on the field. But most times you'll have one, and 3,500 attack is good enough to get over just about everything in the game. I mean, even if Colossal Fighter, if you have this guy active, 
and you wreck a hit a colossal fighter when it tries to revive itself, trigger to negate. Um, dust tornado. There's a lot of um, oppressions and bottomless trap holes, infinity launchers, all those kind of things. So we just run the tech now. Dust tornado. Uh, basic removal, bottom trap hole, solid to make sure our combos go through. Uh, just running one core panel, uh, just because it's situational. And really don't, the deck really can't stand too many situational cards as it is. But this is really good uh, when you don't want to necessarily go into Guardian. And you have your field set up with your other monsters. Uh, this can be clutch, especially when you're attacking in face down Rikos or they... Um, want to try to loop you with Archfiend or Fall Troll or any other cards that can loop you to death and you can save your Guardian for their secondary push so activate this on their first effect thinking that you're gonna tribute that and then tribute your Guardian and of course you round out the traps Mirror Force Torrential Starlight Road. Starlight Road is important because you're setting you're having a lot of uh, face-up spell and traps so you got your field spell your continuous spells Continuous spells. Um, also to protect your back row cards. Uh, so that's why it's in here. And so basically the only thing extra deck you would need would be a Stardust Dragons. And then other random uh, monsters in case they happen to creature swap you a tuner for some reason. But uh, we're not running any tuners. And um, so there's really no need for much of an extra, extra deck except for the random Stardust to go with the Starlight Road. Uh, one of the things I was glad that they finally produced was um, Burzak and Prototype. I really like these two additions to the uh, Archetype because Prototype gives you another way to keep your uh, deck flowing. It's another card. Monster, pretty decent attack. Produce a token with the same stats, 1800 attack, 1800 defense. You can use it to save your on-field Kwakimirus. And then with Berserk, you have a 2,000 double attacker. <laughs> so, I mean, those are really good additions. Um, Sandman, I, I like this card. Uh, he's really good to go into. If you have an Urnite on field from the previous turn, you can easily go Urnite, uh, reveal the Urn Core, special summon this guy. Uh, so if they happen to have a Bottomless, you contribute to the gate. Or um, anything of those, any card, anything like that. Then tribute your Urnite. If they don't have anything for it, tribute your Urnite for Rook Lord. Uh, nuke two cards after you remove from play a Quacky Mirror in your grave. And if they want a Starlight Road, uh, then you can tribute Sandman to negate their Starlight Road. Uh, some of the cards I'm not running. Um, I'm not running the. Can't remember the names, but the uh, Quick Play spell that uh, tributes uh, Kwaki Miru to add the core to your hand or deck or from your uh, from your deck or graveyard. I'm not running that. It's hard enough to keep these things alive, so I don't want to tribute them to begin with uh, when I can easily get them back, get these to my hand by activating these. Or if I have dead Kwaki Mirrors in hand or ex Kwaki Mirrors in hand, I can easily pitch a Kwaki Mirror to add that to my hand from a grave. Um, other things, I'm not, I'm not running Wrecking Power. I tried it at first, but uh, Destiny was just better. I mean, like I said, with the Starlight Roads going on, it just I mean, if you could set it up first turn and they set two or three cards, you can easily plus one, plus two them with the end phase Wrecking Power. But that's so rare. So it's not worth it. I'd rather have the consistency of d end phase Dust Tornado, set call, Set Solemn, you know, set Starlight Road in case I didn't hit the Torrential. And then I can go into my combos from there. Um, some of the other Quacky Mirrors, I'm not, I'm not running Drago. Uh, that would be a card that I would prefer to side deck. Um, I'm not really afraid of Gores or Drago because I have the Three Guardian and um, Core Panel. But like, you know, in an Infernity matchup, then yeah, obviously uh, Trago would go in there. And again, I'm not main decking it because so many decks run Book of Moons and Regeki Breaks and Deep Prisons and so much other cards removal. And I need something that's uh, generic all around. And, 
Guardian and the rest of the guys can get the job done. I mean, when you're looking at a field of X Sabers, Quick Draw, and other decks that do not run Dark Monsters, you know, Draco just becomes that more situational. All right, guys, again, remember to tell me what you think. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting an updated trade binder. And remember, I have um, some X Saber stuff listed on eBay. I know I'm pushing that pretty hard, but trying to get rid of. Um, I picked up a lot of uh, X Saber stuff thinking I was going to build the deck, but then the em deal on the Ember's Blades, I, <coughs> excuse me, had didn't fall, didn't come through, it kind of fell through. So um, I won't be building next sabers for a minute until I can pick up some members' blades. All right, Dub K Dad, Team DKF, and I'm out.